Hi, everybody. Today, we're zooming into Semicon West, having conversations with members of the 3D Insights community. And um, today, I'm speaking with Rich Rice of ASC Group Global. Now, as most of you already know, ASC is a global leader in semiconductor manufacturing services in assembly and test. Hi, Rich. Hi, how are you doing, Francois? I'm good, thanks. How are you doing? Thanks for joining us today. I'm great. Nice sunny day here in Texas. Uh, here too, but like it's going to be like 105 here in Arizona. So <laughs> I could use a little, you know, you guys are heating up pretty good in Texas too these days, huh? Yep, we are. But that's this time of year in Texas. Yeah. It's Everyone's at home and not on vacation going north this year. So Right. And that's to, the difference. We all have to deal yeah. with it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the difference. Yeah, in fact, the last time we saw each other was at IMAPS um, and at the device packaging conference in March and COVID was just heating up, no pun intended. Um, 5G was a big topic at the event. I remember you were there, you know, leading the charge or uh, kind of talking about everything. And um, Christian Hoffman from Qualcomm said, ironically, not even COVID could stop the 5G rollout. Is he right? Uh, yeah, I think he is. He is right. Um, the question is when. Um, I think because of all the things that have happened around the world and society, um, just related to um, some things like collaboration, certain uh, standards organizations in 5G are delayed to meet. Mm -hmm. And so there are some, there are some delays on some of the, the new standards that are out there. But um, and there's obviously been some supply chain issues, um, but I think what we are looking at is maybe a little delay, but yeah. uh, Qualcomm, I know, they've announced that they're very bullish in, in what they think the uh, mobile phone shipments are going to be, and uh, I don't doubt them. I think we're going to see a lot of growth in 2021, however. Mm -hmm. um, it's really going to, that's when it's really going to be strong. We're going to come out out of this strong, and I think obviously there's much more of a need for 5G right now. Um, you know, with everybody working from home and needing the connect the fast connectivity, and yeah, hopefully it, that will uh, exactly. There's, uh, in fact, that's probably going to be a, a stronger growth than it would have been otherwise because of the work from home, both 5G as well as Wi-Fi six. Mm -hmm. Those are going to be uh, really robust growth areas, I think, as we go forward from here, maybe uh, uh, heavily in 2021. Yeah. Well, that's good news for the semiconductor industry, I guess. Yeah. Um, so let's talk a little bit about chiplets. Um, everybody is talking about chiplets as the next big thing. How is ASC prepared to support assembly and test technologies for this? Yeah, I think uh, chiplets is a uh, it's a very interesting thing um, because of the uh, the slowdown or the at least the financial challenges with Moore's law and people want to reuse IP um, and they want to be able to integrate a lot of functions, a lot of different functions into these uh, systems, subsystems. So I think it's going to be a, uh, um, it's going to require a whole ecosystem solution to really make it proliferate in a large way. Um, and that large ecosystem will also include standards for um, mm -hmm. the communication between chips. And um, it's gonna require design tools and design systems that people can use to easily integrate these. And then mm -hmm. ultimately a marketplace that you know, people can buy chiplets from. and. Uh, know that they have uh, an interface standard they can count on, a specification they can count on, and a level of quality and reliability. Um, I think the, a lot of the physical um, baseline things are in place to do, to do a lot of that. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of this development for chiplets is gonna be done internally in IDMs or uh, mm -hmm. more vertically integrated uh, companies that use their own chips. But, uh, and okay. that's, and that's going to, that really brings along the packaging technologies and mm -hmm. the physical connections mm -hmm. um, really to make it a much bigger and broader thing. It's the ecosystem is going to have mm -hmm. to come along. There are standards organizations uh, mm -hmm. like in the Open Compute Project, ODSA and others that are putting things together 
to uh, create those standards. And I think those are really important. Um, you guys are licensees of M series, correct? Yes, that's correct. So, so my understanding is that M series is a very good platform will be a very good, um, I guess, packaging platform for chiplet integration. Is that something you can speak to or? Uh, well, yes, we believe that because of the, the uh, thing that goes along with M series, which is adaptive patterning. Mm -hmm. uh, once you start putting a lot of chiplets or chips together and you can do that in a chips first structure um, to be able to adjust for any shifts in the chip location mm -hmm. as you place them is an important thing. Helps with yield and um, yeah, it, uh, we think it's a key enabler. Cool, okay. Let's talk about, um, you know, I, I see you guys everywhere. Um, you are so very community minded and you're active participants in all the organizations, uh, key organization events, IMAPS, ECTC, SEMI. How are you as a company managing the transition to all of these virtual events? Yeah, it's, it's hard. We're used to traveling, we're used to meeting people and we're used to collaborating. And it's one of my personal big concerns about mm -hmm. what we're, what's gonna happen going forward. Uh, we've been able to do a lot through these kind of interactions, mm -hmm. Zoom, WebEx, uh, Microsoft Teams, those kind of things. It seems like I'm on multiple of those kind of things every day. Um, in my view, it doesn't uh, fully replace uh, yeah. personal interaction at a lot of these things and uh, at a lot of these events. Um, you know, the organizations, you know, I'm president of IMAP, so mm -hmm. it's really heavy on our Uh -oh. Me, uh, IEEE, EPS, uh, everyone's involved with uh, kind of uh, proliferation of information and education and uh, sharing of ideas. I think those societies are, and what they do are really still important. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, for instance, at, at IMAPS, uh, we've announced that the uh, mm -hmm. symposium is going to go digital or virtual mm -hmm. uh, in, in, uh, in October. So, we're trying to figure out a way to make it a little more touch and feel and live mm -hmm. and interactive for people mm -hmm. to visit and to, um, to interact. Uh, I think SEMI is going to do this at SEMICON to a certain extent. Yep. And uh, we want to uh, try to step up the game even from there. Mm -hmm. So it's, okay. uh, it's important and uh, we're involved with it and recognize it, but it's, mm -hmm. it's not easy. It's a different, uh, yeah. uh, we're, we're in a, new era and a new place where we're learning, I'd say. Yeah, and, and um, I'm curious, well, I'll be attending Semicon um, West next week, obviously, um, and um, visiting the booths and, and, and attending the um, sessions. So I'll be happy to provide some feedback on my impression yeah, from that. That's, that's great. helpful. That's great. Um, well, I'll be writing about it anyway. So, yeah. um, okay, so speaking of Semicon West, uh, ASE Fellow and Senior Technical Advisor, Dr. Bill Chen, is widely considered the face of, heterogene of the Heterogeneous Integration Roadmap, which was published first this last year in 2019, right? Um, now, I see he's moderating SEMI's advanced packaging live sessions. What will the focus of these presentations be? Yeah, so uh, to my understanding, uh, Bill's going to have four main focuses, uh, high-performance computing, 5G, um, aerospace and defense, as well as medical. Mm -hmm. um, I know that he's gonna be chairing those, those, uh, you know, those sessions. And I think uh, I'm also involved with HIR. I'm a uh, co-chair mm -hmm. of one of the chapters of the automotive chapter. So mm -hmm. I see the value in this, um, mm -hmm. really appreciate what Bill is doing as far as trying to bring the, uh, the you know, entire community together to converge on you know, packaging development and pre-competitive solutions going forward. Uh, the roadmaps in HIR go out about 15 years uh, in general. And uh, okay. so, so uh, I think it's a it's real important- It's gonna see us through to retirement, right? Yeah, well, hopefully. <laughs> but it's hopefully um, the intent is, yeah. is to give the industry a vector on where yeah. we need to really focus our efforts. And uh, I really appreciate Bill Chan, as well as Bill Bottoms and all their efforts mm -hmm. to do that. Yeah, it was quite an accomplishment getting the first roadmap published. And uh -huh. I look forward to 
we have, um, you know, Herb covers it a lot. Um, uh, Phil covers it a lot. Sure. They have a much better understanding of the technology than I do. So I'm happy to have their support on 3D Insights yep. following that story and keeping people informed about what's going on there. So um, are you, now where can people go to find out more about ASE? Well, you would just go to our, globe, our uh, website at uh, ASEglobal.com. And okay. uh, uh, you can, I mean, most everyone knows Patricia McLeod or right. <laughs> myself. Yeah. And uh, we're all on LinkedIn. Uh, yeah. We're on social media as well. So uh, it, it's not too hard to find us. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's almost a silly question because as I said before, you guys are very community minded and you're very visible and um, available. So, and I appreciate that said, thank you for joining us okay. today. I appreciate uh, you having the time to spend. Um, and it's always so great to talk to you. Yeah, I know. And uh, one of these days we'll do it in person. Yes, hopefully not for too long from now, but, yeah. uh, and to the audience, thanks for stopping by the 3D Insights booth at Virtual Semicon West. Don't forget to sign up to, re to or don't forget to download your copy of the yearbook. Um, and subscribe to our e-newsletter and enjoy, and enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks.